It's the final we have all been waiting for. Two of the best going head to head. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. Hello, here we are at Stadium Australia, part of the Olympic Sports Complex here in the great city of Sydney. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it's decision day here at the 2023 World Cup. The final stands before us. It's Spain against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And play halted, free kick given. He's made a really important challenge. And can they exploit the space out wide? And there she is, in with a chance. Off the post and back in play. Well, that's the end of that for now. Lauren Hemp. Into the advanced position. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And she's in a decent position. Alba Redondo, Bon Mati. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, good work by the keeper. And the ball back with Spain now. Technique displayed. Soon. Chance to run at them. Can they get themselves in front here? And there it is! She's etched her name in history as the scorer of the opening goal in the final. You've simply got to enjoy these moments. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Goal! And back underway. 1-0 it is. Mariona, nicely cut out. Well, showing everyone her abilities in possession. Oh, surely! 
And there is courageous goalkeeping for you. But it's also good goalkeeping. She did so well to get down to the feet of the striker. Really good bit of play from her. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, she was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end it will be a free kick. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Well, fair to say she didn't really make life difficult for the goalkeeper. Good movement, but nothing comes of it. Mariona. Crossing opportunity. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. That'll be a Spain throw in. Olga Carmona. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Great opportunity! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. Goal! So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Mariona, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Lauren Hemp. Mariona. Chances on. A oh, tremendous block. Keen to take it short here. And cuts inside. Is she going to score? A routine save. Well, she's gliding through. Could cross it in here. That's a routine take. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position only just. Well, as you can see, England haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. More defending for them to do here, though. It'll be a corner. And there's the delivery. Well, that is quite simply a tremendous stop. Well, you have to praise the goalkeeper there. That is absolutely brilliant. The way she makes the save, you couldn't get any better than that. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Well, increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. That's a short corner. Well, whatever 
whichever way you slice it, really, really wasteful. It certainly was. The goalkeeper should have had no chance there, but it was fairly simple for her in the end. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Abeyera. Mariona. A chance to whip it in. Firing it in. And the keeper did more than enough. Trying to deliver it accurately. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, a classic example of how to intercept and good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Oh, the threat is there. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. In position. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Goal! Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Loves to attack from the wide areas. Opportunity here. And a fine stop. Alessia Russo. And giving the ball away. She has teammates around her. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Delivering it. Just the clearance that was called for. Russo. Shot attempted. Well kept out. Here it is now. A substitution. Corner kick played in. Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Badier. Albaredondo. Now there to intercept. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Georgia Stanway. Lauren Hem. Disappointing for England to give it away in that manner. Gives it a go. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. Favouring the short one. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. And a good take under duress there. Throw in here for England.
Extremely sloppy in possession. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Kelly. Chloe Kelly. Opportunity. And the danger is still there. Big chance it is. And nicely parried away. So a corner here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not all that convincing defensively. Kelly. That's excellent defending following the cross. And there's the delivery. And still dangerous. Nicely blocked. On a batier. And they need to get tighter. Oh, a goal! She's gone and done it! She's gone and found the net! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Ella Toon, Rachel Daly, moving it forward, well let's see what they have in store for them on the break. the keeper soon hemp making progress opportunity here and it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all Here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And just five minutes remaining. And intercepted it. Good technique displayed. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. And successfully cut out. And she's being egged on by the crowd. The delivery. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Really getting stuck in. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Ah, 
And you almost might say that was creative goalkeeping. It certainly was. She did so. And the final whistle is music to the ears of every England fan. Listen to this. England are the world champions. And this is what these players have been dreaming about for quite some while now. Just look at the emotion on these players' faces. Great scenes here. Yes, the dream has been realised. England's Women's World Cup winners for the first time. And what a moment this is for Serena Bigman and her players. Just listen to the noise when this trophy is lifted. What a moment this will be. England, the European champions, and now the world champions as well. It is quite the double, and they're entitled to celebrate for as long as they want. Really top-class scenes here. Look at the players taking the trophy over to the fans. They've played their part as well. These are great moments for the players, the fans and the coaches.